There is a crazy storm impacting Europe right now, and what is sometimes even crazier is how fast passenger jet aircraft are taking advantage of an extremely strong jet stream. We're going to take a look at that in this video, and of course, we'll show you the latest on Storm Kieran that's impacting a lot of Europe. Another storm, another big one, is right on the heels of that, so we are in a very stormy pattern across the North Atlantic and into Europe. We're going to take a look at that Caribbean storm. We've been breaking down, will a tropical storm form? We're going to have the latest on in Invest 97L in this video. And regardless of development, we do have some very heavy rain coming towards us in Central America. Could cause some flash flooding and mudslides. We're going to break that down for you closer to the end of the video as well. Before we get into it, if you want to stay up on the crazy weather, you have to hit subscribe. Please do that. If you find this content helpful, I would love it if you just hit that little thumbs up button. It really does help us out a lot, believe it or not. All right, so I want to show you this crazy thing here. And this has been happening over the last 24 to 48 hours. We highlighted this in our last video about Storm Kieran being fueled by this crazy strong jet stream that's blasting across the North Atlantic. Well, airliners are taking advantage of that at 30 to 40,000 feet. So I have on here the current jet stream as of 11 o'clock Eastern time on November 2nd. The data is coming in from FlightAware, by the way, at least the airline data. But you see this jet streak right there. That is wind speeds of over 200 miles an hour. So basically, right here I have overlaid. Here's where our jet aircraft currently is. This one we have highlighted, and there are several in this area that are running about the same speed. This is British Airways Flight 238. It's hanging out in this jet streak. It's from, it took off from Boston. It's headed to London. It's recorded speed as of 11 o'clock in the morning when it was right in that jet streak. 748 miles an hour. Now, this is crazy because the planned speed for this trip was 565 miles an hour. Couple of things here. This is not supersonic. This is ground speed. So this is not like one of those military aircraft that are just flying like through the sky breaking the sound barrier. So that's not what's happening here. It's being physically pushed that extra almost 200 miles an hour from the extremely strong jet stream. The one other crazy thing about this is, is that the arrival times are up considerably. This particular flight is scheduled to arrive in London a little more than an hour ahead of schedule. And again, that is because of that extra push from that really strong jet stream blasting across the North Atlantic that is unfortunately, though, fueling this massive storm in Europe here that continues to swirl. Here's a satellite image of it. You can clearly see this well-defined storm right by the British Isles here, just to the east of London. You see this huge swirl right there again strong storms moving through parts of france we've been getting blasted wind gusts at times pushing 100 miles an hour with this system as well as it continues to spiral uh east of ireland now through the united kingdom and then eventually towards uh the arctic crazy crazy storm here and again this is something that is going to continue is this active jet stream continues. What I'm showing you here is the mean sea level pressure the bright red on your screen here the lower the pressure. You see the scale right at the top. Let me bring out my trusty arrow, and you see that right there. So we have a huge area of low pressure. That is Storm Kieran right there. Again, we already just showed you that spiral was. Look at this thing, though. This is coming out of the Canadian Maritimes, and watch what happens as we get into Friday. We kind of have the merger between what is going on right now and then this new storm that's going to ride that jet stream over and then impact us again. So this is through Saturday, and we have this massive area of low pressure. So this is something that's going to stick with us in Europe, and in a huge chunk of Europe, northern Portugal, northern Spain, and especially closer to France, Ireland, England, and then up into Norway, Sweden, some nasty, nasty weather here over the next couple of days, and then likely through the first part of early next week. So from the North Atlantic down into the Caribbean, we go everywhere on this channel when there's some interesting weather to break down. Look at this. If you were with us in the last couple of videos, we talked about the Hurricane Center had this highlighted in red. That means there's a high chance for development. Well, we've gone the other way, thankfully, in a sense. There's not much thunderstorm activity with Invest 97L, and I'll show you the latest models, not only where this center, quote-unquote, could be going, but also the heavy rain that regardless of this, if this thing does develop, will bring the potential for mudslides, landslides, flash flooding to Central America. So here we go. There's the yellow bullseye there. That's the development area. Where's the thunderstorms? They are not around the center. They're just widely scattered through Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and then closer to Panama, Costa Rica. 
that's it. So in all likelihood, this thing is not going to become a depression. This is not going to become a name storm, but it is still going to impact us. And I will show you some of the expected rainfall to totals from the model coming up in just one minute. Here are the latest spaghetti models. And for those watching in the United States, closer to the Gulf of Mexico, we gave this an itty bitty chance that after it impacted Central America, we could have something come up through Belize, which of course is in Central America, through the Yucatan, and then back up into the Gulf of Mexico. Since this thing thankfully did not get its act together, even given almost perfect conditions in terms of wind shear and water temperature, it's going to stay low, it's going to stay west. So the door is officially closed for this thing to lift north of the Yucatan Peninsula. We still get some heavy rain toward Belize uh, into Mexico, into the Yucatan. The center of this, the main part of this, is going to head towards Nicaragua, Honduras, and then around Costa Rica, Panama, at least the heavy rain associated with that. And I want to show you again some of the rainfall amounts with this system. I think we are going to eventually see more than what this model forecast is. It always underplays tropical moisture, and it always... Uh, it has a hard time taking into account the enhancement from the topography, the mountainous terrain. But you do see where it's kind of hinting at here. We have anywhere from 3 to 5 inches from Panama, especially closer to us in San Jose. Uh, Nicaragua and Honduras, anywhere from 2 to 4 inches of rain. And I do think, again, whoever gets those stronger thunderstorms that kind of curl around that quasi-center there could get four, five, six inches of rain, and then maybe even more than that. So really, for those that are watching in... Central America, and, and shout out to you guys, I knew you guys tune in a lot, anywhere from Belize, Nicaragua, Honduras, and to Panama, Costa Rica in this area, this weekend, really Friday, Saturday, Sunday, make sure that you're paying close attention here, flash flooding is going to be possible, um, maybe even likely, with, again, maybe rainfall amounts tripled and then some from what you see from the actual model forecast here, so I just want to make that clear that some of the numbers you see here are going to be underdone because that's what typically happens when you're dealing with tropical moisture and when you're dealing with tropical moisture running into mountains and that gets forced up and then you get that enhancement of of rainfall so just some things to keep in mind here that um next few days through the weekend through early next week through monday uh, a lot of rain coming our way even though we're not going to likely have a name storm we're not going to have the wind involved with this but some gusty thunderstorms some very heavy rain and then the likelihood of flash flooding Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you found this interesting, especially the first part we were talking about the plan. I think that's crazy stuff. And I mean, that's going to get you there if you're on one of those flights over the next day to Europe an hour early. So cool stuff there. Again, watching out for you guys in Central America and, of course, in Europe that continues to deal with these parade of storms that continue to blast us in. If you found this content helpful, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated on all things weather, you have to hit subscribe. Please do that. Give it a thumbs up again if you found this content helpful, and we will catch you next time.